Hi, my name is Randy Shear, and I'm a technical curriculum developer here at Jitterbit. And I'm glad you could join me as I walk through the setup process for the Workday ServiceNow Employee Onboarding Offboarding Hire to Retire Process Template. First, I want to explain what a process template is. The Cloud Studio process templates are groups of pre-built integration use cases that accelerate the execution of a specific business process using numerous objects across multiple applications or systems. Process templates are designed to reduce the time to deployment by 50 to 80% and can be self-implemented, delivered by Jitterbit Professional Services, or delivered by an implementation partner. For access to a template, contact your customer success manager. The Workday ServiceNow Employee Onboarding Offboarding Hire to Retire Process Template connects Workday to ServiceNow to automate the new hire employee onboarding process and the employee termination offboarding process. It also supports automatic synchronization between Workday and ServiceNow making record updates based on events such as employee onboarding. Offboarding works in a similar way. When you set a termination date for an employee in Workday, the ITSM system automatically inactivates the user profile and HR record for the employee on the day after the termination date, reducing the time and cost of integrating Workday and ServiceNow. Now that we know a little bit more about this process template, I'm going to quickly show you how to set it up. There is no preparation that needs to be done to Workday or ServiceNow before installing the process template. So I'll begin by installing the process template. I'll log into the Jitterbit Harmony portal and open Marketplace. Marketplace is Jitterbit's new resource for searching and retrieving recipes and process templates to help you quickly create new projects. Once I find the appropriate template, I'll click on Start Project. I will be directed to the Create a New Project screen where I can name my project, select my proper environment because Jitterbit is capable of having multiple environments. I can also add a description. Once all these steps are complete, I'll click Create Project. After the project is created, I can either go back to Marketplace or continue to Cloud Studio. I will continue to Cloud Studio where I will find my newly created project and I will select it to open it. Each project has its own independent set of project variables. To set the values of these variables, I will go to the project variable list by clicking the action menu icon, which are the three dots at the top of the project pane. I will then select project variables from the drop down menu. Then set or modify the values as appropriate. When I am done entering all the appropriate values, I will click the X at the top, which will take me back to the project. There is a list of variables that need to be changed in the supporting documentation guide. With the appropriate variable settings applied, I clicked the X at the top, which took me back to the project. Prior to running any of the project's operations, I need to open each of the configured connectors, both Workday and ServiceNow and test the connector to confirm that the supplied credentials work with each of the endpoints. First, I will check Workday to see if the connection is successful. To do this, I will double click on the Workday connector and scroll down to the bottom where I see a button called Test. When that button is clicked, it will take all the variable settings I used in the last step to see if there is a successful connection to my specific Workday connector. If it was successful, I will see a green message saying connection success. If it was not successful, I will get an error message. I see that my connector was set up correctly and I will click the X at the top and do the same thing for the ServiceNow connector. Once this step has been completed, I can deploy and run each project in the proper order as listed in the documentation guide. If you have any questions, please check out the information located at Success Central by going to success.jitterbit.com.